right. So, what was your question again? Why aren't any grown-up hosts on the stage? Well, let me give you some news. This isn't the grown-ups Eurovision. No, sir, it's the kids Eurovision. By the way, my name is Joanna, and I certainly am a kid. And I think the fourth junior Eurovision Song Contest should start like this. My dear? Yes, please. I want everybody out. Everybody out. I think they are delicious. <laughs> Sorry, asked. Anyway, speaking about kids, let's meet the stars of tomorrow. Let's find out who are the participants for the fourth Junior Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a big round of applause for the international music stars of the future. Good luck, guys. Boa sorte, Portugal! Calispera, Cyprus! Good Nabund, the Netherlands! Una Sara, Romania! Dobry Vecher, Ukraine! Buenas noches! Hey! Dobro vecher, Serbia! Il Leila, Malta! Dobro vecher, former Yugoslavian Republic of Macedonia! Go afton, Sweden! Spera Greece. Dobry wieczór Belarus. 
Guten Abend, Belgium. Dobra večer, Croatia. And dobry večer, Russia. I bragged a little bit earlier. <laughs> the truth is that I do need a grown-up host on the stage. And I don't mean you. I'll tell you what. I'll call my best friend, a lady that whole Romania knows, and I think she deserves to be known in the whole Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome my best friend, Andrea. Andrea, like somebody would say, I'm too small for such a big event. Don't worry, I'm here. Domnilor și domnilor, băieți și fete, bună seara. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Bucharest, welcome to Romania. Europe has opened its gates for Romania. It's now our turn to welcome Europe to the fourth edition at the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. We also welcome our viewers from Australia and America. This year, children from, uh, sorry, artists from 15 different countries will compete to win Junior Eurovision Song Contest. All these artists are between 8 and 15 years old. And what's amazing is they have written the lyrics and music themselves. For the first time ever in the Junior Eurovision Song Contest history, you can vote from the beginning of the show after the first song starts to play. You'll see right about now the numbers for every country. You have to dial the phone number shown on screen and add the last two digits, the running number of your favorite song. For instance, if you want song number one to win, 
you dial the number and add the running number 01 at the end. If you want song number 15 to win, you add 15 at the end. And it works the same with the SMS. You can vote 20 times for each song from the same phone number, no matter if you are voting for one or more songs. You'll see the televoting numbers for every song on the bottom of the screen for 30 seconds at the beginning of the song. What do you think we should do now, Ioana? I think we should let the music play. So be it. Ladies and gentlemen, the artists are ready. Let's see the first three countries' representatives at Junior Eurovision 2006. If I may, please. Yes? Euro, start voting now. I come from Portugal to share my dream with you. The number one is Let, Let Me Feel! Yay! Yeah.
Jubilee from the Netherlands. I'm 15 years old and my song is called Goed. And I'm feeling good. Te weten, te weten nou, hoe alles zit. Als je helemaal niks weet, zeg dan maar niks. Iedereen zit maar te dromen. Hebben veel daar een hoop. De zaken staan opeens anders. Als je weer. I have a bulldog. Well, that's a shame. I have a cat and it's so cute. Cat lover. Dog lover. Hi. Hi. I love cats. Uh, you know, I was going to ask if you have a boyfriend, you know. Hmm, well, no comment. I see. Sorry. Hey, how's the weather in Cyprus? Can we go for a swim uh, now? The weather in Cyprus is very hot, so yes, we can go for a swim. And you're going to invite us all for a swimming pool to swim, yeah! We're going to Cyprus! Yeah. What's happening there? What are you talking about? Well, about cats, dogs, this kind of stuff. Ioana, this is a serious contest. You should ask serious questions, like how do you handle the pressure, or what do you think about the other competitors? Okay, no cats. And no dogs also. I see. No dogs. I'm so glad we took care of it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Junior Eurovision Song Contest continues!
and together we represent our beloved and beautiful country, Ukraine! from Spain and I like karate very much. <laughs> my song is Te doy mi voz because my voice is my gift to you. Hay tanto que explorar, que descubrir. Hay tanto que expresar, que quiero decir. Mi mente se quedó anclada en ti. Y es que ya no encuentro el modo de darte un te quiero sin condición. No encuentro palabras, solo está mi voz. Te doy mi voz. Puedo contarte que hoy tú me enseñas.
room. Or should I say, in the kids' room? Let's see. Andrea said, no cats, no dogs, serious questions. I know. Hi, do you like mathematics? I hate maths. Of course you do, so do I, but did you really have to say that? I mean, your math teacher might see right now. I don't think so, especially when I sing. Bubulina, Gospodina. Ah, yeah, well, it better be so. Yeah. Hi, did you fall from a tree when you are little? No. Why? What do you mean, why? Yeah, why? I mean, all the kids are falling from trees. What kind of a kid were you? Well, uh, the kind that doesn't fall from a tree. Yeah, you're a very strange kid. <laughs> Personally, I fell more than once. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Ask for it. Give me five. <laughs> Danny! Okay, I have a test for you. Look straight into the camera and tell the kids from all Europe. Should they be afraid of Dracula? No, no. Dracula is a very nice guy. He's so cool. Yeah, indeed, Danny. Dracula, please come here. Anna. So, how did they find the stage? Let's see. Well, um, uh, uh, um, round. Round. I got the point. Precious information. Nice job, Joanna. Keep up the good work. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's the way kids are. Restless and funny. But we just can't get mad of them. Especially when, when they are so, so gifted. I presume that you all agree on this. We have only very, very gifted kids tonight, right? Of course, this is not enough. All the kids worked very hard to be here, but with ambition and patience, they succeeded. So let's not keep them waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, let the music play!
doing tonight? I'm Sophie from Malta, and this is my song, Extra Cute. Macedonia, these are my friends. I'm gonna tell you my secret. I'm in love.
You can see now. You can see now on screen the numbers you should dial to vote for your favorite song. It's very simple. As you can see, every country has a specific televoting number. Easy to remember, because the final two figures are the same with the running order number in the contest. You just have to vote for the song you enjoy the most. Stop chatting with your friends over the phone. You have an important job to do. Vote for your favorite song, right? Stay tuned, listen, and vote. It's your responsibility. It's not mine. I'm not allowed to call. Neither is Ioana, nor is Dracula. No, no, no. I'm not in the mood to make calls right now. I'm too tired. In fact, I'm exhausted. I've only slept for a few hours. Why is that? I went to the disco. Euro disco. With whom? With whom? With those kids. Would you like to see how it was? What they have done? What they have done to me? And you keep spreading rumors that I'm the bad guy here? Take a look. Just take a look. Dracula party. Kids are. They love playing, having fun, making jokes, you know. What have I become? I was a legend, a great one. People feared me. And now kids are making fun of me. Sure, they are good at mocking. What about singing? <laughs> You're right. Let's see how they sing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here are the next three countries. So let the music play. I'm Molly from Sweden, and I'm so happy to be here. My song is about you're beautiful, just the way you are. Som 
I'm Chloe. I'm 13 years old. I'm from Greece, and my song is Dempiraz. Соловья Тихо в торе Теха Спит еще земля И в дымке речки Полоса И еще горя Звезды в небе Где-то До восхода Остается Лишь открыть глаза Yeah. 
ordinary children, but here on stage they act like pros. Don't you agree? Are you still upset with them? What else can I say? They are good, I have to admit it. No, you are wrong. They are not good, they are fabulous. If they succeeded to deal with a vampire, it means they are great. I'm sorry, but I couldn't help myself. So, those are some of the most beautiful and gifted children from Europe. But we haven't seen all, uh, all of them yet. There are three more countries to go. Here they are, the final three competitors of the fourth edition of the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. from Belgium and my song is Een Tocht door de Donker. Hello, my name is Matteo. I'm from Croatia. My song is La. Lea is my one true love. Yeah, so La.
and gentlemen, those were all the competitors from the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2006. Even if you are still voting for your favorite song, as I asked you to do, even if the voting is not over yet, I can tell you who won the contest. I really believe that the Eurovision is like the Olympics. You win if you participate. So I believe tonight we have 15 winners! Now, if I can say so, one of them is more of a winner than the others. And that only depends on you. You had the chance to choose the winner, the best song of this edition of the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. Because I know how important your decision is, please allow me to remind you the voting procedure. So. I, I, I know, I know. Uh, uh, I beg your pardon? May I tell them I've learned by heart? Really? I'm curious. Let's see. What I do you know? Every country has its own voting line. Very good, Joanna. And you can vote for more than one song. That's correct. But can you vote for your own country? No, of course not. The only thing you can do for your own country is to keep your fingers crossed. But you can vote for other 14 competitors. If you want song number one to win, you dial the number and add the running number 01 at the end. Or if you want song number 15 to win, you dial the number and add 15 at the end. And it works the same with the SMS. Piece of cake. She's really good. She knows everything. Thank you. Well done, Joanna. I think you deserve a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen all the competitors. For those of you who haven't yet voted or haven't yet made up their mind, here is a recap of the 15 songs that entered this year's Junior Eurovision Song Contest. Let's see it. Thank you. 
What are you doing there? I have a surprise, surprise for you. I have a special guest here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here is the last year's winner, Xenia! <laughs> Standing here next to Xenia makes me feel like a grown-up. How comes? Well, she's only 11. And how old are you? Well, I'm 12. That explains everything. Tell me, Xenia, do you like Romania? Oh, yeah, I like Bucharest, I like the people, uh, I like Dracula. He's so sweet. If, if anyone says over again I'm sweet, I'm going home. Xenia, you like us? We love her. That's why we'd like Xenia to sing her winning song. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Xenia. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel that there are a few people that haven't made up their mind yet. So let's see once again the recap of the songs of this year's Junior Eurovision Song Contest.
Those were the 15 songs that entered the contest. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't have much time left to vote. So please put away for a moment your soda and your popcorn, pick up the phone and vote. Those kids need your votes. Make a call right now. 25 million viewers are watching our show right now. Let's give them some warm applause to encourage them to call. Sorry to interrupt you, but I have a very important announcement to make. What is that? I'll be very, very, very short. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop voting! As you put here, ladies and gentlemen, the televoting is over. But I'm not worried, because I'm sure that everybody voted. In a short time, we'll see who's the winner. Andrea! I have one more surprise, surprise for you! Will it be the same as in the beginning of the show, with all the crazy stuff on the stage? <laughs> No, not at all. I've seen all over the world a kind of breakdance contest. Breakdance here, breakdance there. What's the story of all this breakdance? We have here in Romania a traditional dance which is so cool. It's called Kolush and it's one of the most traditional dances in the whole world. It's crowned from prehistorical times and they say it has its roots in the South Cult, a dance originally from Karga Oasis in the southwest of Egypt. Uh, how come you know all this? Internet. Yeah, it's so good to serve the web. I ordered this, this online. Yeah. Uh, whatever. And uh, what are you going to do about the Kalush dance? It's simple. A contest. Kalush dancers versus break dancers. Okay, then. Well, let the contest begin.
Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard all the competitors from the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2006. They've done all their best to get here, but they also have had fun and learned a lot since their arrival in Bucharest. Let's find out. Of course I have a boyfriend, and he's here! Yeah, that's great! Let's go forward! Who knows a joke? You want to play a joke? Yeah! It's jello and it sings. What is it? <laughs> I don't know! Banana muscuri. <laughs> Question two, is a zebra black with white stripes or is it white with black stripes? Well, I really don't know this, anyone? Andrea, can you help us, please? Uh, yes, dear? We have a big problem here. Is a zebra black with white stripes or is it white with black stripes? You want 
Ah, can't you help yourself tonight? You are so naughty. But I know you won't get mad at me. <laughs> Don't count on it. That's the way our children are, ladies and gentlemen. Naughty, restless and talented. Speaking of talent, there are three more kids that I would like to introduce to you. They represented Romania at the first three editions of the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. Please welcome Bubu, Noni and Alina. Ladies and gentlemen, pressure is rising, so we'll be soon in touch with the 15 spokespersons from the participating countries to find out the votes of the public. Till then, Ioana, you have an important task. You'll have the chance to be forgiven for all the little pranks you did tonight. You'll introduce a very important person, so be careful how you speak and what you say, okay? I won't let you down, Andrea. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to introduce to you the Buonasera! Buonasera, Ioana! Buonasera! Dad, what can you tell me about the voting, Mr. Soxelius? The voting is perfect. All over Europe, the viewers picked up their phones and called and sms for their favorite songs. Everything is going fine. So, it's perfect! That's it very is perfect. Good. I see on my screen how the result is coming in. I need a promise for Mr. Soxelius. Okay. Will I have an invitation for the next Junior Eurovision in the Joanna, you will be our guest of honor. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Soxelius. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I've promised you before, it's time to call the spokespersons from all the participating countries at Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2006. Each country will give 12 points to for their favorite song, 10 points for the second favorite song, and 8 to 1 for the rest. Deserves 12 points because they made it up to hear their own winners. Indeed, they were wonderful. Let's give them all 12 points, 12 points to start with. Yeah. And now it's time to call the first country. Good evening, Portugal. Hello, Joanna. Hello, Bucharest. This is Lisbon calling, and here are the Portuguese points. One point goes to Malta. Two points for Serbia. Cyprus, three points. 
Belgium, four points. Ukraine, five points. Can you have the rest of your points, please? Of course. So, Romania, six points. Romania, six points. Thank you. Spain, seven points. Spain, seven points. Sweden, eight points. Sweden, eight points. Russia, ten points. Ten points for Russia. And the 12 points go to Belarus. Belarus, 12 points. And now let's go to Cyprus. Kalispera, Cyprus. George, did you like the show? Kalispera. Oh, yes, of course, Kalispera. Kalispera, because this is Nicosia calling. And here are the first points of the Cypriot vote. One point goes to Malta. Two points, Ukraine. Belgium, three points. Serbia, four points. And Spain, five points. Can you have the rest of your results, please? Of course. Six points go to Belarus. Belarus, six points. Seven points go to Sweden. Sweden, seven points. Eight points go to Romania. Romania, eight points. Thank you. Ten points go to Russia. Russia, ten points. And finally, twelve points go to Greece! 12 points for Greece. Russia is in the lead. Let's see how the Netherlands have voted. Good evening, Netherlands. Good evening. Yeah, what a great Best. show. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see your first vote. Yes. One point for Romania, Cyprus, two points. Malta, three points. Belarus, four points. And Serbia, five points. Can you have your higher points now, please? Yes, six points for Croatia. Croatia, six points. Seven points for Spain. Spain, seven points. Eight points for Belgium. Belgium, eight points. Ten points for Russia. Russia, ten points. And the twelve points go to Sweden. Twelve points for Sweden. With Russia at the top of our scoreboard, we'll see now the Romanian results. Buonasera, Romania. Give us your first vote. Andrea, te Hello, Andrea. Hello, everybody. Hello, Andrea. Hello, everybody. Here are the first points of the Romanian vote. One point for Greece. <laughs> Former Yugoslavian Republic of Macedonia, two points. Cyprus, three points. Ukraine, four points. And five points for Serbia. Can you have the rest of your points, please? Six points go to Belgium. Belgium, six points. Seven points go to Sweden. Sweden, seven points. Eight points go to Spain. Spain, eight points. Ten points go to Belarus. Belarus, ten points. And twelve points go to Russia. Russia, 12 points. Thank you, Andrea. Let's call Ukraine. Dobry wieczór, Russell. Did you enjoy the contest? 
Hello, Bucharest. Kiev calling Ukraine welcomes you. Here are the first points of the Ukrainian vote. One point goes to Malta. Two points, Croatia. Belgium, three points. Romania, four points. Cyprus, five points. Let's see the rest of your points, please. Six points go to Spain. Spain, six points. Seven points go to Serbia. Serbia, seven points. Eight points go to Sweden. Sweden, eight points. Ten points go to Belarus. Belarus, ten points. And finally? And twelve points go to Russia. Russia, twelve points. Russia is still in the lead. Let's see how Spain voted. Buenas noches, Lucia. Hello, Bucharest, Madrid calling. Here are the first points of the Spanish vote. Malta, one point. Serbia, two points. Cyprus, three points. Sweden, four points. And Belgium, five points. I wonder who got your 12 points. <laughs> I'm listening to you. Of course, six points go to Ukraine. Ukraine, six points. Seven points go to Portugal. Seven points, Portugal. Eight points go to Belarus. Belarus, eight points. Ten points go to Russia. Russia, ten points. And eleven points go to Romania. Romania, twelve points. Thank you, Spain. Let's call Serbia now. Dobrovecer Milica. Hello, Bucharest. Belgrade calling. Here are the first points of the Serbian vote. One point for Malta. Two points for Belgium. Spain, three points. Romania, four points. And Netherlands, five points. Who won your hearts? Okay, here are the rest of the votes. Six points go to Belarus. Belarus, six points. Seven points go to Greece. Greece, seven points. Eight points go to Sweden. Sweden, eight points. Ten points go to Croatia. Croatia, ten points. And finally, twelve points go to Russia. Russia, 12 points. Let's call Jake in Malta. Ilayla Taiba, Malta. Can we have uh, your first Hello. points? Yes. One point goes to Spain. Two points for Romania. Three points, Portugal. Russia, four points. And Ukraine, five points. Can we have the rest of your points, please? Yes. Six points go to Belgium. Belgium, six points. Seven yes. points go to Serbia. Serbia, seven points. Eight points go to Netherlands. Netherlands, eight points. And? Ten points go to Sweden. Sweden, ten points.
And finally, 12 points go to Belarus. Belarus, 12 points. Thank you, Marta. Russia is in the lead. Let's see how top five looks now. As you can see, La Russia is in the lead, followed by Belarus. Sweden after that. The winner will receive the trophy that uh, Dracula just took from Xenia. <laughs> Dracula, what have you done? Xenia, mm. couldn't you prevent this disaster? He didn't allow me for fear I should drop it. I knew vampires cannot be trusted. Uh, I have one more surprise, surprise for you. I would like to win this trophy. It is safe. Now I can breathe. So the winner of the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2006 it. will receive the trophy that the Romanian artist Alexandru Gildus have designed. Xenia will hand over the trophy. How do you feel now, Xenia? Fine. Thank you very much, Xenia. See you later at the end of the show. I hope you will win this trophy. Thank you. Do you like it? Yeah, of course you like it. It's great. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I'll keep it. Can I? Okay, can I? Oh, aceito meu mundo é minha. Now let's see whose votes we have seen until now and how our top five looks. So we have received the votes of Portugal, Cyprus, the Netherlands, Romania, Ukraine, Spain, Serbia and Malta. Russia and Belarus are our runners up. But Sweden, Romania and Spain also look good. We'll see what happens next. There are seven more countries that have to vote, so the competition is still open. Let's now call the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. Dobrovecer, Denis. Dobrovecer od Macedonia. Good evening from Macedonia. Skopje Kolin. Hello, Bucharest. Congratulations for your great show tonight. Thank you very much. I feel that last year. But now, these are Macedonian votes. Belgium one point, Sweden two points, Cyprus three points, Russia four points, and Belarus five points. Let's see the rest of your points, please. Six points go to Romania. Romania six points. Seven points. Seven points go to Malta. Malta, seven points. Eight points go to Spain. Spain, eight points. Ten points go to Serbia. Serbia, ten points. And finally. And finally, the 12 points from Macedonia go to Croatia. Thank you, Denise. Croatia, 12 points. Now we'll call Sweden. Boaftonami, did you like our show? Yes, I love you. I love it. Thanks for a fantastic show. Here are the first points Thank of the Swedish votes. Effort. Okay, I'm listening. I see one point for Belgium, two for Netherlands, Cyprus three points, Serbia four points, and Malta five points. Let's see now if Russia will keep its leading position. Six points go to Croatia. Croatia six points. Seven points go to Romania. Romania seven points. Let's go to Spain. Spain, eight points. 
10 points go to Belarus. Belarus, 10 points. And finally, our 12 points go to Russia. Russia, 12 points. Still in the lead. Now let's call Greece, Kalispera Alexandros. Please give us your first results. Good evening, Bucharest. Athens calling. The show tonight was great. And now here are the first points of the Greek vote. One point goes to Serbia. Belgium, two points. Malta, three points. Ukraine, four points. And Spain, five points. Can you have your higher points now? Yes, of course. Six points go to Sweden. Sweden, six points. Seven points go to Romania. Romania, seven points. Eight points go to Belarus. Belarus, eight points. Ten points go to Russia. Russia, ten points. And finally, 12 points go to Cyprus. Cyprus, 12 points. Thank you, Alexandros. We now say hello, Belarus. Dobry wieczór, Liza. How did your viewers vote? Let's hello, see. Bucharest. Mince Colin, here are the first points of the Belarusian vote. One point goes to Croatia. Two points, Malta. Romania, three points. Belgium, four points. And Serbia, five points. Let's see the rest of your points now. Six points go to Cyprus. Cyprus, six points. Seven points go to Spain. Spain, seven points. Eight points go to Ukraine. Ukraine, eight points. Ten points go to Sweden. Sweden, ten points. And finally, twelve points go to Russia. Russia, twelve points. Thank you. Let's call Belgium. Good enough and send her. Hello, Bucharest. Brussels calling. Here are the first points of the Belgian vote. Ukraine, one point. Romania, two points. Greece, three points. Malta, four points. And Serbia, five points. Can you have the rest of your points, please? Oakley Dokley. Six points go to Belarus. Belarus, six points. Seven points go to Spain. Seven points for Spain. Eight points go to the Netherlands. Netherlands, eight points. Ten points go to Sweden. Sweden, ten points. And finally, twelve points go to Russia. Russia, 12 points. In a few minutes, we will know who won, but for that, we have to find out how two more countries have voted. Let's call Croatia first. Dobro večer, Lorena. Tension is rising now. Hello, Bucharest. Zagreb calling. We have a great show tonight. Thank you very much, thank you. So here are first points of the Croatian vote. One point goes to Spain, Sweden two points, Ukraine three points, Romania four points, and Serbia five points. Who will get your 12 points? I'm curious, let's see. Six points for... The Netherlands, six points. Netherlands, six points. Malta, seven points. Malta, seven points. 
eight points go to Belarus. Belarus, eight points. Belgium, ten points. Belgium, ten points. And finally, twelve points go to Russia. Russia, twelve points. Last call we make before we announce the winner. Dobry wieczór, Roman in Russia. It's the rest of your vote that will decide who goes Hello, home with Romania. the trophy. Hello, Europe. It's Moscow, Russia. What a wonderful show tonight. Thank you. Here are the first points of the Russian voting. Croatia, one point. Romania, two points. Netherlands, three points. Belgium, four points. And Spain, five points. Let's have a look. Six to, uh, points. At the rest of your points. Go to Cyprus. Cyprus, six points. Seven points. Go to Serbia. Serbia, seven points. Eight points. Go to Ukraine. Ukraine, eight points. Ten points. Go to Sweden. Sweden, ten points. And finally, our 12 points go to Belarus. Belarus, 12 points. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. Thank you. As you can let, see, let song win. Goodbye. On the fifth place, it's Serbia. On the fourth, Spain. Third comes Sweden. Close to the first place is Belarus. And the winner is Russia. <laughs> www.juniorurovision.tv or if you like to see once again the performance of the kids you can buy the official DVD release and also if you want to hear the songs once again you can order the official CD release of Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2006 I'm sure you'll enjoy it we hope you had a wonderful evening and if you want to become a star too and if you are between 10 and 15 years old write a song maybe next year you'll be the winner of Junior Eurovision Song Contest so Andrea this is the end no 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 it's not it was a great show we had a great audience 25 million viewers all over the world Come on, that's great. And the audience here was great. Thank you, everybody here. Great public, yeah! We had 15 wonderful songs. All the children were great. Yes, they were. Let's excellent. hear once again the winning song, Russia. Russia! Have a great night, Europe. See you next year in the next